Sing your way to victory with Amber Steel Flutes. It looks like Ariel has finally regained her voice in set 3 and her deck is looking a fair bit different to how it was last set. Now a big reason for this deck's change is that with the presence of meta threats like Anti-Song Ursula and Ruby's Medusa, we have to play for more board presence that isn't over-reliant on old powerhouses like Rockstar Stitch. With the new Robin Hood and our old faithful Queen, not only can we shift a turn or two earlier to gain access to our 4 and 5 core songs like Zeus, Grab Your Sword, and A Whole New World, but it also means that these cards have more turns to threaten the board state before being efficiently removed by Medusa. Robin Hood's stat line is especially relevant as at 6 toughness, it can't be removed by a single Zeus. And lastly, do note that Shift Queen can't even be removed by Medusa as she has 4 strength. Unlike old versions of Flute Song, we run a much lower curve, usually capping out at 5 ink. For the early game, we have lots of options. On turn 1, we can set up a Cindy to sing, or we can play a Queen or Robin Hood to shift onto later. Cindy is usually the best turn 1 play as she lets us sing our early game tempo songs, Storm, Strength, and Bear Necessities. Do not underestimate a turn 2 Bear Necessities to discard your opponent's removal or friends on the other side. If you go for the Queen into Shift Queen on turn 2, then we'll still be able to sing these songs plus Zeus, Grab Your Sword, and A Whole New World. Going second, a turn 2 Grab Your Sword is insane into hyper aggro decks. Otherwise, our turn 2 plays include a more passive flute play, which is a great follow-up to Cindy, or we can slam down 2 more 1 costs to sing a strength to remove X and freeze. And lastly, we can drop Mr. Smee to apply a lot of stats and questing pressure to the board, and possibly set up a turn 4 Rapunzel draw 2. On turn 3, our choices are a lot simpler. We can bend her away an opponent's flute, quill, or lantern, or we can curve into Ariel to dig for another song. If you did go down the shift queen line and you've burnt through a lot of your hand with singing to control the board, then turn 3 4 is a great time to sing a whole new world and refresh your ammunition to minimize the amount of card advantage your opponent gets from the draw 7. On that note, I find turn 4 is also a great time to slam down 2 flutes, as gaining 2 lore each turn we sing is often enough to barely win games while controlling the board. Or we can just Rapunzel to heal or even hardcast a Zeus to remove a key threat. On turn 5, we really should be careful with when we choose to a whole new world, as if the tempo is in our favor, you may find you're more likely to win through top decks depending on the matchup. This is a great time to hard play a Robin Hood or Queen, or even shift into a big Cinderella, especially if our 5 cost singers have been removed. Without these 5 cost singers, if we're forced to hardcast a whole new world, we might just lose from the tempo loss, which is why the mirror is very hard to win going second, as you're never given an opportunity to set up your singers. In the end game, you should be aiming to reach 20 lore as soon as possible before the slower control decks like Red Blue, Ruby Amethyst, and Blue Steel catch up in resources. Especially playing into Ruby list, we want to prioritize getting flutes down before wheeling, as they're the only resource on board that survives a be prepared. The last thing I want to say is I cut World's Greatest Criminal Mind to fit the Smeeze, but if Big Cinderella becomes more prevalent in the meta, you may want to consider putting it back in to win the mirror more often, as it's our only efficient out. Also, World's Greatest Criminal Mind has amazing synergy with Big Queen as if you increase your opponent's attack then you can make it a possible target to be banished. That's all for today folks. This deck is a ton of fun and takes a lot of investment to learn but you'll find it very satisfying once the mulligan and playlines click with you. There also aren't really many bad matchups outside of blue steel and maybe discard. As always stick around for the gameplay. Okay we are up against Emerald Amethyst Tempo Bounce. Uh, this is a matchup we should be very favored in. We just need to make sure we have some solid reactive cards. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. We've got some songs. We've got Robin Hood to go into Sherwood. We can even go straight into Shift Queen for singing. I don't think Strength's going to be very useful with this line, so we can use it as ink. That is the benefit of Strength as a card. When it's, you know, when you don't have a hand that's useful with it, you can just ink it, unlike most of the songs in this deck. Oh, Actually, maybe we do want the Strength now. Oh no we don't, because we're just going to use Storm. So Flute's normally quite good, um, into slow matchups especially, but in this matchup we really just want to fight for board control to stop them from questing a bunch. We could even go straight into a Sing Grab Your Sword on turn 2. Oh, are they going to be able to remove one of our songs? They'll probably get rid of the Storm, honestly. No, they get rid of the Grab. Okay, we're okay with that. We can cycle into a new card. Don't think we need the second queen at this point, so we can ink that queen, shift, and then sing Storm Rage on onto Murfolk. Wonderful. So next turn, we can go for uh, Robin Hood plus Blue. Okay, played friends on the other side. Oh, inked, sorry. 
Oh, okay. And we're going to bounce the hand with Mother Knows Best. Yes, yeah, so I think we... Yeah, we just go super wide here. Which does make the strength better. But I kind of want to just get big things on the board. So let's ink the strength. Queen, Cinderella, Robin Hood. We've got tons of options here for what we may want to shift onto. So I think we probably want to shift onto the Robin Hood now, just because it trades into the Fox better. We've got no more songs we can discard. Let's ink this Robin Hood. Shift. And then we can quest, because the free 6 stat line is perfect for this board. And when if they exert themselves, we can shift into Queen, play down a flu, and start clearing their board. If we get like a Rapunzel, this would be a really good chance to draw some cards as well. Do not get a Rapunzel. Okay, so let's play the flute. And I don't know if we shift the queen here. We're definitely questing with the Sherwood. Yeah, I think we do just shift the queen to be inconfident. So we're in, a, we're in a bit of a stalemate here. They don't want to exert because we can queen we can queen them. Uh, but they have to at some point. Otherwise, we're probably gonna win the later the game goes on. So we bounce our Robin Hood back to hand, get a Flynn down, and now they're probably gonna go wide. No, not yet. Okay. I think we ink for Cinderella. I think we go into the Robin Hood. And I think, yeah, we, we don't want to expose the Queen, so we can just trade the Cinderella in and discard the small Robin Hood. We hopefully don't have another Mother Knows Best. We've expended two already. They usually only run two to three in the deck. They don't, probably don't have any way to recycle. Oh, okay, there's the third one. <laughs> Okay, now we are just going to have to... Oh, what song could we get? What song... A uh, Grab Your Sword would be really good here, so it might be worth digging for it. And then we can activate the flute too. Okay, Let the Storm Rage On still pretty good. So yeah, Ink this Queen. I think we play the Storm onto the Fox to get rid of it. Nice. Then we can sing the Zeus with the Queen, get rid of the Flynn Rider too. This way we don't have to discard one of our cards, and we can quest with Flute. So if they want to remove our Queen now, we're going to have to trade both in. There is no song for them to discard. Wonderful. Uh, Bear Necessities doesn't do anything for us right now. But they could end up discarding it, so it might be best to... Actually, it's not best to ink, because we want to be able to activate Flute. So, again, we don't, we don't want them to trade into us here. So I think we just... We, we wait for them to attack first. Wait for them to exert first, rather. Okay. And we can start pushing Quest with a Robin Hood. Play bare necessities, that's nothing, but at least lets us flute. We know they have a kit in hand. I'm okay if they bounce for Ariel back to hand, because that just means we get to dig for another song card. We can push quest with Robin Hood and Smee to try and force them into exerting, and then we can retake the board with Queen. See, whenever you're in a stalemate situation like this in Lorcana, you really have to assess if you're the beatdown or they're the beatdown. In this position, we have tempo, so we can afford to play a bit passively here. They rightfully choose not to mount the aerial back to hand. And now they, they recognize that they're the aggro deck. They need to start questing at some point. Play the aerial, see what we get. We get nothing. So I put the Cinderella to the top, and then flew, and then don't really care about the other two. Now here's where we come in. Robin Hood trained, trades in, gains two lore. Queen quests, lower the attack of Ursula, up the attack of Ariel. Ariel trades in. And then we quest with Smee and quest with Flute. And we are, we have presented lethal. 
Actually, we didn't use a song weapon. <laughs> yeah. To stop our lethal here, they need to get rid of at least two 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 law characters. Or a, yeah, free law. And GG, that's that's a win. That's uh yeah, that's how dominating flute song can be into aggro decks. Okay, we're up against Ruby Sapphire. Definitely one of the best decks in the game right now, but I think we're quite a low to the ground deck. We're fairly aggro, so we should be able to beat it with enough tempo. Bare necessities that good? I don't think it is. We don't run many songs. Like Thief, maybe the only thing we can get rid of. So let's just dig super hard for some early game tempo tools. We'll keep the Benja to get rid of their Fishbone Quill. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so ink for Robin Hood and go into Queen. The ink of Maleficent. Get a popsicle down. Oh, are we going to get value out of that Rapunzel? We don't know yet. We don't know if they have a two drop to play. So it's unlikely the Smee will live. Okay, one jump ahead. Perfect. We can keep pushing tempo now. So ink this queen. Play the aerial. And, oh, strength's actually going to be really good right now. As much as I like the draw from Storm, I think against this deck, strength's better. Especially while we have three units out on the board. We could have tried to bend of a popsicle. I think Bendering Fishbone Quill is better for us. Especially if we're going to wheel them at some point. Yep, there's the Fishbone Quill. And Katamatoa. Okay, so now we can stop them from getting be prepared by Bendering away the Quill. We're not going to be able to get to that Cinderella, so let's ink it. Now we Queen, Smee, Ariel. Just a ton of tempo, and they're not going to be able to hit the Be Prepared in time to counter it. The best thing they can play here is Medusa. Okay, they're searching for something with Develop, but that means we're not going to be able to Medusa this turn. If they play a Gaston, we can just Strength it. Okay, Maui. So we can definitely get rid of a Maui with a Strength. So I think if we get like an Inkable, Flute Strength is probably best our best play. Okay, or we just Zeus it at this point. Yes, yeah, so I think... Hmm. I would like to flute. But it's looking like we're not going to get a chance to flute. They're probably going to be prepared next turn. We have no way to get rid of the be prepared. I think we ink for strength. And then we Zeus the Maui. And if they want to be prepared this board, they can go for it. Okay, we have ink to mana, and now they play the be prepared, and it's a pretty weak be prepared. So we're pretty happy that we force that out. So now we can play the aerial, dig for a song. Zeus is definitely the best option here. And we play the flute. Okay, so they get rid of our aerial uh, with a Medusa. Bare necessities. I think we should just stall out the board here. So we Zeus for Medusa, and then we can keep questing with Flute. And hopefully if they draw into a dime, we can get rid of it with bare necessities. Okay, they're a Grandma Tala build. So getting rid of a dime would be super helpful here. Let's Benja away their pop skill to prevent them from getting a Haram draw off. Then play the Bear Necessities. Boom. Bye bye. Be prepared. They only have a small Grandma Tala in hand. And then we can quest with the flute. That's two Be Prepared's gone. And a small Grandma Tala in hand. We play out now to dig for more options. 
So unless we get a Judy Hops, we're not going to be able to deal with this flute either. And a lot of decks aren't even running Judy Hops, but you probably should with the amount of flutes and other items in this meta and dimes, etc. for the mirror. Okay, so we're able to prevent that Haram draw. Amazing. Um, I'm going to play the Robin Hood here and then strength the Haram so we have the option to remove it with a Zeus or something later. And then quest for Bender and the flute. And now we present lethal as long as we get a song. You know, we could have hit one of the Talas, but then they'd just trade with the other Talas, which wouldn't be super helpful. Okay, we've got their Scar out on the board, but probably no way to deal with a Robin Hood, so... We're very close to a win here, we're just one song away from winning. Okay, that's a Queen, so... We can't win off the Flute this time, but the Queen itself presents lethal. Medusa comes down to get rid of the queen. You're still only one song away from winning. They are, I believe, three turns away from winning. Okay, so they still don't have a song down, but Robin Hood presents lethal. So if they haven't been able to top deck a removal, we win. Okay, they quill their last card away, so that just looks like it's GG. Oh no, they're going for the Haram, sorry. Draw more cards. Do they find an answer? No, they do not, and that is a win versus Red Blue. Okay, and we're up against Emerald Steel. Uh, in my testing so far, this has been a pretty tough matchup, but let's see. Okay, um, strength can be good, but it doesn't look like we're in a position to be able to play lots of cards. So I think we're going to mulligan for some other options. Okay, well now we're in a position to play lots of cards. Okay, uh, I want to keep that aerial, so let's ink for Robin Hood. Play a Robin Hood. Actually, maybe playing the Queen was better there. Well, yep, playing the queen was better there. <laughs> oh dear. Let's ink the aerial. Play a queen. Kit, what are they going to choose to bounce? Choose to bounce with Robin Hood. Okay. So now instead we can shift queen to sing storm. Destroy the morph. Nice. And at this point, I might just ink the Robin Hood. Queen is a good singer and we can't bounce it without like a mother knows best. Yeah, another morph down. Well, we've got to grab your sword. But maybe we don't go for the grab your sword. Maybe we go for the storm. Oh, amazing. Now we can play double flute and use both. Yeah, so we've gotten rid of both of them off so far, so now they're probably just going to hard cast whatever they were trying to play. Beast. Wonderful. Hmm. We're probably inking the Robin Hood here. And then... Do we want to sing the whole new world? Yeah, I think we want to sing the whole new world. So we get rid of the Beast with a Zeus. Oh, we could actually... We, we don't have to sing the whole new world yet. Let's... Hmm. Yeah, let's delay it. Let's sing Grab Your Sword, stall out the board, and now we can quest with the flutes. So this way they don't have as many resources. Oh, and we got punished. <laughs> we've just gone for the whole new world. I think, we can, I think we're still in a very winnable position from here, though. Like, we're ahead on tempo, they don't have many cards, and we've got flutes on board. So yeah, we can play the Bear Necessities, get rid of their strength, I kind of want them to play the whole new world. And now we can quest with Queen and then quest with the flutes. So they're very incentivized to sing the whole new world here so we can get some more resources. Depending on what they top deck. 
Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go for the Singhole New World, since we didn't go for the trade into strength. I think they really... Going for the trade into strength was probably better here, getting rid of my queen. I guess we were worried about me top decking more songs and flutes. Now, we've just got another flute anyway. Briar Tuck. When you play this character, the player will play as most cards in the hand, choose and discard a card. Interesting. Um, I think Rapunzel is maybe the least useful card here, because we're not going to get a chance to use it. Yeah, we should just be able to win off that <laughs> quadruple flute. Oh my god. Feels bad for them. So ink the Cinderella. Get the Smee down. And then sing Zeus to get rid of Friar Tuck. And now we have four flutes questing for four. That is nuts. Maybe it was good to get rid of a loose for her in case we're running like Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo to bounce it back to hand. But if they do that, at least we can just discard one action card. We could like discard the Zeus and keep the whole new world. Who's and discard a card? Okay. Discard the Zeus. Oh, and we've got two. Good for them. Yeah, definitely should have gotten rid of the Lucifer. But if we get a song here, we'll decide if I trade or quest, probably. I mean, at this point, it's probably better to just quest so we get closer to the loot lethal. Okay, let's grab your sword. So, <laughs> no choice needs to be made here. Amazing top deck. Quest with Smee, quest with Flutes. We've got so many songs here. You can, like, you're very likely to top deck a song. Honestly, we, we didn't respect their discard enough. Uh, we messed up twice, but this deck is so resilient. Uh, and the quadruple flutes, obviously. But we're winning anyway. Definitely ways we could have played this better. Now all we need is one song top deck and we win. And we only have two cards left to hand. Boom, strength, GG. And that's, uh, that's Emerald Steel. Okay, we're up against Ruby Amethyst. I don't know if I've fully figured out this matchup yet, but hopefully I've got it. I think we just have to remove their board and play for tempo. Um, I think we keep their necessities because it's a way to get rid of their friends early on. I don't think we keep Zeus until we find some of our earlier cards that we need. Oh, wait, why did I get rid of the queen? No! I realized we <laughs> I forgot we had big queens. Oh, that's okay. I, I've been playing so messy this morning, so tired. Okay, well, strength's not going to be good for us here. Let's do this, play Bear Necessities, get rid of their friends. And we can use the other Bear Necessities to get rid of their Be Prepared. Okay, not going to need Benja, so let's ink that. Play Ariel. And draw Storm Ridge on. And Quest with Queen. Okay, Grab is going to trade in with our queen now. Uh, let's get rid of the crab. Double storm. Oh nice, now we can set up the queen. So rather than using Bear Necessities to get rid of the Be Prepared, now that we know we they have it, I think we just whole new world. Okay, so I think we do want to get the Queen set up here. So we go for an Aerial, draw the Zeus. Okay, um, so we can't go into Queen now. We could just sing Zeus to get rid of the rabbit. I think that's pretty fair. That was past turn. We have missed a turn of inking, but our board's in a pretty commanding position. Okay, now we can clear that with Grab Your Sword. So let's 
shift into queen. Let's ink the aerial. And then sing, grab your sword to clear the board. And then quest with queen. So at least one of these is going to be able to sing the whole new world. Cool. Um, I'm kind of keen to play this me. So let's play this me. Wheel away the be prepared. Wheel the way to be prepared. Okay, now we're cooking. And we can ink here. Let's ink one of the Cinderella's. And we'll play a Cinderella and strength the Maui so we can't get rid of our aerial. Okay, we got another Maui out. Or we'll ink the Benja. Go for Queen and Flute. And West with Smee. Flute can't do anything because we didn't sing this turn. And we could just bounce the Maui back to our hand, but I think this is a fine play. Because we want to start getting lore on the board. Okay, be prepared comes out. So that is three be prepared gone. We only have one left in the deck to worry about. Play the aerial. Nice. Draw a storm. And then I think we just play the, we just play the Rapunzel. There's not much point inking right now. And Rapunzel's a 1-5, but Quest for 2. Okay, looks like they've got a fox. Oh, no, it's just another mount. Okay, that's a bit frustrating, as our Storm can't get rid of it. So, yeah, let's play Cinderella. And we're leaving Rapunzel on the board, Cinderella can't get Tremaine. Queen also would have been probably a fine play. Alright, and there, there is the final be prepared in their deck. Can't believe we wheeled them into two be prepared. Okay, so let's play the Queen and the Smee. <laughs> Got so many Pinocchios. They just keep being able to bounce it back to hand. Oh, no, oh it is just the same Pinocchio, isn't it? No, one of the Pinocchios they got rid of would be prepared, so we have two Pinocchios. Now they only have one. We're expecting a wheel, I suppose, for inking. I don't really want to deal two damage to one of my characters, so I think I'm going to pass. Okay, so Storm the Rabbit, we play Robin Hood, play Benja, we know they don't have Be Prepared, so now we can just quest and go and play a wide board. Okay, nice, so at least they aren't able to recycle the goat. Queen's Castle comes down, that's very dangerous. We've got another goat. That can challenge our Benja. But yeah, we just play the whole new world here. We need cards, they're gonna get cards from the Queen's Castle. Let's play a loot. Then we can ink the Smee. Play a Queen. And now we can sing strength to get rid of the goat. And then trade Robin Hood into the rabbit so they can't recycle that. And then gain lore with our flutes. Now we've got a bunch of songs in our hand to keep applying pressure with our two flutes. They have no way to remove uh, items in Ruby Amethyst. So, so, if we're lucky, we're in a pretty winning position. It's close, but we're at 13 law. We've got stuff on the board. We've got two flutes. Putting a second castle down is pretty dangerous, but we can at least get rid of one castle with a queen plus Zeus combo. Oh, could we get rid of both castles, actually? We could get rid of both castles. So let's, let's do that. So we Zeus, one castle... Zeus, the other castle, trade our characters into them, 
and then we can flute. Now we are two turns away from winning with flutes. Okay, we don't really care about the fish hook. So let's ink a queen, play a whole new world. What do we discard? Medusa, Medusa, Dragon, Dragon, Maui. Okay, that is beautiful. And we did just play, and GG. Yep, <laughs> they realized uh, they wouldn't be able to come back from those two flutes, and that is a win against Ruby Amethyst, one of the best decks in the game. We're playing against Ruby Amber, which should be an interesting matchup. I think we're favored. As long as we don't whole new world them. Okay, nice. We can go the queen line. Let's ink a queen and then play a queen. Actually, maybe we should... Ah, I don't know. We can play big queen on two and then either play Ariel or play big robin on three. I don't think strength is the line here. We're not going to have a lot of characters. Maybe we should have kept it in hand anyway and just inked the other queen. Okay. Doesn't look like we have anything good to play. So let's actually go straight into Ariel and set up a whole new world. So maybe we should have just taken the Inkable song. We've gone for Lantern. But we can get out a, a two drop at most. Alright. Go Robin Hood. Ink Queen. Shift Robin Hood. I and mean, yeah, I think a whole new world would be perfect right now. They've got tons of cards and it just refreshes our hand. We've got a Benja now to get rid of the Lantern next turn. Get another Lantern down. Okay, well, unfortunately, we can't play two Benjas next turn. Chernabog. Wow. That's definitely the whole new world counter. Okay, well, I think we play it slow. So we Benja one of the Lanterns to prevent them from getting more value. Inca Queen. And really, I don't want to attack into the Chernobog. So I think I might leave it at that. I want to wait for up the Chernobog to be exerted. It's not like they can be prepared this turn or anything. The next turn we could go for like Benja plus Ariel to look for another Zeus. And then double seeing double Zeus would take out the Chernobog. Here goes our Robin Hood. Benja the other lantern. Ink the Robin Hood. Play the Ariel. Boom. There's the other Zeus. So now we can double Zeus for Chernobog. Chernobog is dealt with, which Steel usually has a very hard time dealing with. And we've got a massive board. We've got them rid of both of their lanterns. We can whole new world next turn to refill our hand. Okay, we're going to go fell Rapunzel for the draw. We are A-OK -okay with that because we're going to get rid of their hand with whole new world anyway. Okay, let's ink for queen. And then whole new world with Ariel. Gotten rid of a <laughs> pretty much all their queens now. We place down another character. We can play Strength. I don't think they'd be running Be Prepared in Mufasa deck. If they are, it's only one. Let's not bother singing. Let's push Quest instead. So let's get rid of the Rapunzel. Just in case they do have a Be Prepared, I'm not going to play these Cinderella's out. I think this is enough to push for a win anyway. Okay. Good, cool. They do have a be prepared. That's probably their only be prepared. 
And now we can just play out our board. Strength is great in this situation because we're going to have a wide board. We can play Smee and then play the Cinderella's. Going for a Gothel Rapunzel again? Nope, Tinkerbell this time. And GG, that's a win against Red Fossa.